If you're someone who has been eyeing the latest foldable phones but just can't get past the annoying screen crease, then today's episode is for you. We're diving into some exciting news about the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 and why it might finally be the foldable phone to solve your crease woes. Let's get into it. Foldable phones have been the buzz for a while now. With their futuristic design and compact form factor, they're supposed to be the next big thing in the smartphone world. However, there's been one persistent issue that keeps popping up, the screen crease. Samsung has been at the forefront of this foldable phone revolution, but let's be honest, their progress has been a bit sluggish. While Chinese brands are rolling out new foldable models with impressive upgrades, Samsung has taken a more cautious approach. This has left many of us wondering, when will they address the elephant in the room? Well, it looks like Samsung might finally be ready to tackle a crease issue head on with the Galaxy Z Flip 6. According to a report from Thelix, Samsung plans to use a thicker ultra-thin glass or UTG on the Z Flip 6 foldable screen. The current Galaxy Z Flip 5 uses UTG, that's 30 microns thick. The Galaxy Z Flip 6, however, is expected to boast UTG that's 50 microns thick. This increase in thickness is said to not only reduce the visibility of the screen crease, but also enhance the overall durability of the display. Why is this important? Well, for starters, a crease has been a major turnoff for many potential foldable phone buyers. A less visible crease means a more seamless and enjoyable viewing experience. And who doesn't want a screen that looks smooth and uninterrupted? But it's not just about aesthetics. Durability is a big concern with foldable phones. They have a lot of moving parts and any improvement in durability is a win in our books. A thicker UTG means a more robust screen that can better withstand daily wear and tear. If this information holds true, Samsung could finally give the Chinese brands a run for their money. Some competitors already offer foldable phones with brighter screens and less noticeable creases. Samsung stepping up their game could make the Z Flip 6 a serious contender, but that's not all. The Galaxy Z Flip 6 is rumored to come packed with some other impressive upgrades. We're talking about the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, an improved primary camera, and a bigger battery. All these enhancements could make the Z Flip 6 not just a foldable phone, but a top-tier smartphone in its own right. And here's another interesting tidbit from the report. The Z Flip 6 is expected to use the same water drop hinge design as the Z Flip 5. This hinge design has been praised for its smooth operation and durability. Next year, Samsung could reportedly introduce a new UTG structure and hinge design. These advancements might further reduce the screen crease visibility and make the bezels around the display even thinner. Samsung's cautious approach might have seemed slow, but it also means they're meticulously working out the kinks. The move to a thicker UTG could signify a major leap forward in addressing the screen crease issue, a common gripe among users. The increased thickness in UTG for the Galaxy Z Flip 6 is a substantial improvement. It's not just about making the crease less visible, it's about enhancing the user experience and the overall longevity of the device. Samsung's careful approach might finally pay off with the Z Flip 6. Of course, we'll have to wait for the official release to see if these rumors hold true. With potential upgrades in processing power, camera quality, and battery life, the Galaxy Z Flip 6 might just be the foldable phone we've all been waiting for. That's all for today. What do you think about the potential improvements coming to the Galaxy Z Flip 6? Are you excited about a thicker, more durable screen, or do you think there's more Samsung needs to do? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech updates. Until in just a few time, months time, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will succeed the iPhone 15 Pro Max and take on the mantle as the best and most advanced iPhone out there. Although there's plenty of time until September and a lot can change, we seem to know a lot about the upcoming top iPhone model based on rumors and leaks. How is the iPhone 16 Pro Max shaping up against its predecessor? What's changing and what's staying the same? Let's see how the iPhone 16 Pro Max shapes up against the current best iPhone Apple has in its roster. First up, let's talk about design and size. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will inherit the same design language as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, employing the same titanium frame with a completely flat screen. The major difference between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be size. The upcoming iPhone screen will grow to 6.9 inches across, a significant bump over the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 6.7 inch display. To achieve this, they're likely shrinking the bezels down even further and making the phone itself slightly larger overall. As per the rumors, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will measure 163mm in height and 778 millimeter in width versus 159.9mm and 76.7mm for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively. A small but notable change, all things considered.
The iPhone 15 Pro Max debuted with an action button instead of a mute switch and a USB Type-C port at the bottom, so those two features will be carrying over to the newer model as well. However, the iPhone 16 series will be scoring another button, dubbed the Capture Button. Colors-wise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was available in four understated and titanium-inspired colors. We've heard that Apple might use another titanium processing technique that will make the iPhone 16 Pro Max glossier and also more capable of retained colors. Moving on to display differences. As mentioned, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come along with a significantly larger display, measuring at 6.9 inches across. Aside from the size, we don't clearly expect any other major changes. We're certainly getting a liquid Retina XDR display with an OLED panel delivering superb colors, contrast, and exceptional maximum brightness. The screen will support 120Hz promotion refresh rate, making scrolling through the interface and on-screen content way smoother. Now let's delve into performance and software. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a second-generation 3 nanometer chip, possibly dubbed Apple A18 Pro. As one can imagine, we expect that the Apple A18 Pro will have better performance than the Apple A17 Pro. Due to the heavily rumored focus on AI for both iOS and the iPhone 16 range, we expect that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come with a much improved neural engine to take care of all the generative AI features. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will also be a first to debut iOS 18 with a focus on artificial intelligence features. The new iPhone 16 Pro Max will also support faster Wi-Fi 7 and a more power-efficient 5G modem, keeping you future-proofed on the connectivity front. Let's talk about the camera. As the iPhone 15 Pro Max deliver a host of important camera features, chief among which is the new 120mm telephoto lens, the iPhone 16 Pro Max can finally address one of the forgotten cameras that hasn't recently scored any significant overhauls, the ultra-wide. Analyst Ming-Chi Ko believes that Apple will be introducing a 48 megapixel ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. When it comes to audio quality, iPhone Pro Max devices are always up there with the best, setting the benchmarks for all other manufacturers to measure up against. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will be no exception. The same generally applies to haptics too. iPhones are arguably the best devices when it comes to haptic feedback, giving us precise and accurate vibrations that are sufficiently strong yet not overpowering. Lastly, battery life and charging. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will reportedly feature a much larger 4,676 mAh battery compared to the 4,422 mAh battery in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Charging-wise, we haven't heard anything about a potential charging speed increase, but we hope to see one on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So far, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is shaping up to be a logical improvement to the iPhone 15 Pro Max delivering key upgrades in important areas like screen size, performance, AI, and battery life. Thus far, we haven't heard anything particular about a potential price increase, so it's safe to assume that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will start at $1,199 for the 256GB version. Of course, if there's an iPhone 15 Pro Max in your pocket, then you'll probably have few reasons to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Stay tuned for more updates on the iPhone 16 Pro Max as we get closer to its release date. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.